Hello everybody. So you might be wondering what that is in the background there. That is an item warehouse and item request system. And I'm going to demonstrate it. So for this, we've got three input tracks. We're going to request eggs, sticks, uh, slime balls, and some gunpowder. These can be anything that is currently being sorted and stored in the warehouse. But we'll just move up here. We'll say sticks. Drop in an egg. Drop in a slime ball. And we ran out of carts, so we'll wait on the gunpowder. Real quick, just click these guys. And then we're going to go watch what happens. So right now they are queuing up, waiting for their turn to move. In a second here, the uh, first one, the farthest one away, will trigger. Probably should have timed this a bit better. But we can see that the blinking light is coming down the line. And there it goes. <coughs> excuse me so the cart has made its request and there is the response as that one goes off into the distance this one will come back and take its place which is now empty you'll see this cart coming back going back to where it initially started and the second cart has taken flight it makes its request. You'll see a different track, the first track this time. Take off. And you'll see that now empty cart come around and drop down on the first track and take its place. Over here, goes back. Here, takes off. So with this system here, the traffic cop as I call it, carts can't bang into each other if they're, you know, in the system. And as you can see, the whole process is just repeating itself. This cart will take its place and begin being filled up by the item sorter. So as you can see, all the carts are back in their initial position. <coughs> Here we requested eggs which, well, sorry, I think I messed up, but uh, those were supposed to be eggs, but here are the eggs, here are the sticks, because I did them in that order. Rewind it if you want to see, and here are the slime balls. Let's take a few of the slime balls, and let's send the rest back. In this case, the cart's going to take a different path. It's going to wait for its turn to move. Only one cart can be in process at a time. See, blinking lights coming down. And the cart should go about now. This time, because it's full, it's going to be moved to the unloader, which is over here. After it finishes unloading, it's going to shoot back into the system. It only takes a second or two. Should only take a second or two. <laughs> but once that is done, there it goes. It scoots on back. We'll see over here. It's waiting for it and goes back up into its place and we'll see we have an empty cart now this is on the same track as before same process we're just changing it from slime balls which we already got to gunpowder click that guy wait for it let's see how far down the line it is oh it's pretty close and there it goes 
this time you'll see it goes on to the request route heads back to take the place see the gunpowder cart move out runs down the line while this gunpowder empty gunpowder cart drops into place right where the other one came from and there we go we'll go check this real quick should be gunpowder and it's gunpowder so how's that for you pretty cool system uh, it's expandable I'm only using three of these right now but each of these inputs uh, can be from a different place you can plug stuff into it take stuff out of it uh, no matter what uh, so long as it's in the system over there and being sorted there is a grab bag function which um, we don't have an empty cart but uh, we'll just kill one eggs everywhere <coughs> grab another mine cart and an empty bucket the empty bucket is just what I chose for the grab bag we'll see it see if it's actually working or not click that guy this is where all the item overflow goes I figured a bucket was the proper key for it and we'll just wait until that comes around <coughs> there it goes So whenever the system overflows or you put in stuff that uh, you don't have sorted quite yet, then you can use this to basically resort everything. And I didn't have a blocker that far down, uh, my fault, but it did make it to the right place. So that guy is back and you'll see we've got all the overflow. Uh, stuff that we wanted. All right, so hope that helps. Um, <laughs> it's it's not overly complicated. It's uh, almost entirely tileable. Uh, the warehouse and sorter and request system. After you've built the uh, kind of interface to it, but uh, leave me any questions you want, and uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks. Bye.